Welcome back to another edition of Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Today we're going to be reviewing Snowmen All Year. Um, this is a series of books, actually. I don't, yeah, they do have uh, some pictures of them. Uh, they're the Snowmen series, Snowmen at Night, Snowmen at Christmas, uh, that are actually pretty popular books. Uh, you can see at the bottom of this, it says it's New York Times bestselling team. Um, and I really didn't realize that. I had seen those other books, but I didn't realize it when I looked at the cover. I just thought it was a catchy title. Snowmen All Year was a cool idea. Uh, and I instantly wanted to read it. The artwork looked pretty cool. It looked like a fun book. So for me, the cover and the title really sold me on the book. I'd probably say you couldn't have done a better job for that. And so I'd give the I'd give the cover and title probably a five out of five. Uh, you open it up and you look at the artwork, and it's equally impressive. Um, this is one of the for me one of the artworks where you you look at this and if you ever thought you could be a picture book artist and then you see something like this, you go uh, maybe not <laughs> uh, because it's really good artwork. Um, and it's, so to me, it's no shocker that this is a, uh, a series of best-selling books. I probably give the artwork in this a five out of five as well. It's really good stuff. Um, we get to the writing itself, which I found to be pretty clever, and I liked it. Uh, I read this first one, and it was lo a little bit longer, and it was all rhyming, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But it very quickly moves into like one sentence per page, per beautiful page, I should say. Uh, and so, and, and several of them were pretty clever, and so I thought it was fun. Uh, so for me, the writing is really good. Four out of five stars on the writing. Uh, the concept of a snowman living throughout the year and what he would be doing, uh, oftentimes it's it's uh, it's nothing that's like this genius thing, but it's just kind of funny to think about a snowman going to the zoo, uh, the snowman going to a birthday party, uh, snowman watching the fireworks on the 4th of July. I mean, so those are kind of funny concepts. The writing itself isn't like amazing, but it's still, it's a cool idea. And so concept here is probably a five out of five. The writing here is probably a three out of five, but it still is pretty good. Um, we get to the ending and the ending is a little bit of a disappointment for the rest of the book being so interesting and fun. Uh, we get to the end and it's kind of like, eh, well, I guess that makes sense, you know, and so you get to the end and it's kind of lackluster after all that. Um, I would even go so far as to say the ending is probably a two and a half out of five stars and it really pulls down the value of the book because the rest of it is so cute and clever. Uh, overall, though, I can still heartily recommend this. It's a it's a great picture book. It's a cool concept. It's a, it's really well delivered, um, and it's a, it's a lot of fun to read. So, and my, all my kids thought it was funny and, and good. So, um, that's about it. So, definitely go check out Snowmen all year. It makes me want to go check out the other ones, Snowmen at Night and Snowmen at Christmas. Um, and I hope you'll check them out as well. They're they're uh, it was a good good read. So. Anyway, that's us. Uh, thanks for listening today to Picture Book Post. You can find us on Twitter at Picture Book Post. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you next time.